How do you feel about Zane leaving One Direction? All right, before you, all you internet trolls get out your pitchforks and torches, look, just this person wanted me to answer that, so just back off. Bunch of savages in this town. Honestly, I don't listen to their music. Um, I think from what I've heard, he said he left because he was too stressed out about all the tour stuff and, and like going from place to place. And you know, hey, can you blame him? Maybe he might have a solo career now. Hey. Justin Timberlake, after NSYNC broke up, he pursued his solo career, and now he's one of the biggest musical people out in the world. And you know what? If he wants to do it, whatever. Go, go in peace, Zane. And to all you trolls out there, please don't attack me for this. Someone wanted me to answer that, so, you know. Don't attack me and don't attack them, all right? Just don't. But yeah, I never really gave too much thought about <laughs> One Direction and their music. Although that one song they did, like Night Changes or whatever, that was actually, that was actually pretty good. Um, speaking of music, what is your favorite song? Hmm, that's, that's pretty tough. Usually I don't really like gravitate towards one specific type of music like you know, rap or rock and roll or, or pop or classical and stuff like that. It's, I really, I like a mixture of things, you know? I tend to keep a, a an open mind about different kinds of music. But as for like my favorite song, I don't really have a, like an all time favorite song, but I'm just gonna like say like the kind of music that I do like. Um, as evidenced from my CDs there, I'm a huge Billy Joel fan. I love his songs, I love his music. I like a lot of movie soundtracks, whether it's, you know, songs from movies or like, you know, the like the background music, the scores. I do like some hip hop and rap. It really just depends because sometimes I feel like rap can be a bit of a wasteland because I feel like they always just talk about the same thing. Money, chicks, weed, um, and money. <laughs> it's just, it's all in that order. I like a lot of classic rock, not just Billy Joel, but also Bruce Springsteen, The Beatles, U2, Elton John. I like a lot of alternative music from like the 90s, like Oasis. I like a lot of Coldplay music. I love Coldplay. That's probably my favorite band. And I'll admit my, my guilty pleasure is actually like very late 90s, early 2000s, like teen pop. I don't know why, but that stuff just kind of... I don't know, puts a smile on my face. Don't, don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me. I am a man of many things. Nerd! What do you think of the YouTube movie reviewing community? Uh, I, I love the YouTube movie reviewing community. I love it. For those who aren't totally in the know, there's a whole bunch of people out online on YouTube that love to review movies. Some professional, some that do get the chance to go to see like private screenings and advanced screenings for, for like upcoming movies. Some that just do it for fun. Some that like just go to see like the latest releases on like opening day. I heard this one thing from somebody where sometimes it can get really competitive and sometimes like if your video doesn't get like a ton of views like like thousands of views that you're just not noticed at all i wouldn't say that i mean look even if you get like just i don't know 30 or 40 vi views it means that people still watched your video so i don't know what you're complaining for as long as you're putting your love of movies out there then what are you complaining for as long as you find just that one little niche crowd of people that like some of the same movies that you do then you know what's what's there to complain for and look i would love to get thousands of views for each of my videos it usually doesn't happen but it'd be great if it did again it's just a matter of just just put yourself out there anyway because because you want to because because it's fun just talking about movies and stuff like that can be fun for for those people myself included so yeah i i love the movie reviewing community on youtube of course, you know, the Schmoes, Jeremy Johns, Cr 
Chris Stuckman, the guy that inspired me to make videos in the first place, John from the Flick Pick, Alicia Malone, all those people, re I really like those people. They obviously are inspirations to me. And yeah, what's my favorite color? I'd have to say blue. Blue's my favorite color. I, I really, some, I, I guess I kind of get drawn more to like stuff that's blue. Although I, I have to actually say, you know, orange would be my second favorite color, but yeah, blue's my favorite. Do you want fan art? I, I guess. I mean, I'm not saying no to it. That's, that's just something that I'm, I've never really wanted, but hey, if you want to, great, go right ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. Just don't make it dirty or insulting, because, come on, that, that's just not cool. What's my favorite movie-going experience? Um, I would have to say it was 2011. It was for the last Harry Potter movie, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Two. As someone who grew up watching those movies, seeing the final one in a packed theater with a bunch of other Potter fans, that was really fun. Like laughing and cheering at all the, the best moments and crying at the saddest moments. And just seeing like that that movie just come to a close and the the, the franchise in general come to a close. It was it was really it was a really great experience. All right, last question. Yay to everybody who had to sit through this. Thank you. <laughs> um, what are you going to do on your channel in the next few weeks, and will you make any more short films? Uh, well, let me answer the first part. In the next few weeks, I'm actually going to review, like, the whole of, like, season one for the new Daredevil show that's going to be on Netflix. I won't spoil anything. I'll just go through, like, the basic plot, what I liked, what I didn't like, the performances, all that. Once I get through all the episodes, I'll do, like, spoiler talks for, for the ones that I enjoyed the most. And just an overall, like, review of Daredevil season one. That, and I'm hoping to, of course, do an Avengers 2 review. What I'm actually going to think of doing is I want to get a lot of my friends together to come with me to see see it at, at my local theater but <clears throat> for the review itself I'm actually thinking of like doing like this really funny opening where I'm like calling together like my Avengers and it's like all my friends as like all the different Avengers like Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, Black Widow, Hawkeye, all those guys. Also there's going to be a comic book convention that's going to be in Philadelphia very soon around like May 7th through the 10th. It's for Wizard World Philadelphia Comic Con. I'm actually going to be hopefully doing some vlogs for that. I'll be doing videos for all four days, like showing off like different places and booths and maybe, maybe a celebrity or two if I'm lucky. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm hoping to do that. As for if I'm going to make any short films in the future, I hope so. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to I'm think up new ideas. It's been really hard to think up new ideas, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to maybe do like at least one short film this year. Because I haven't made one since special, and that was like 2013, two years ago. So, so yeah, I'm I'm hoping to make a short film. I just gotta think of a, a story, and if I really think it's gonna work. So, and also if I can get people involved. So, yeah, I'm hoping to. Oh, and also, very soon, I think like on April 19th, I'm gonna be posting a special video. My birthday is coming up, and in honor of that, I wanted to kind of like do a little montage video of like my favorite things in like both in like movies and TV and all that. Don't worry, it'll be like my last montage video for a while. I know I've been doing a lot of that stuff recently. But don't worry, it's going to be my my last one for a little while. I'm not going to keep doing it. I promise. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That's my first Q&A video. Thank you to everyone for all your questions. I really appreciate you to take the time out to do that. Um, and hey, if you want to see me do more of this, you know, just keep sending me more questions and maybe I'll do some more. And as always, if you like what you saw here, feel free to press that like button, share this video with your friends, and hey, subscribe if you want. But until next time, I'm Mark Aquino. Thanks for watching, everyone. Subscribe!